I think a general rule when you are get into sports is that a normal healthy diet is the basics also for sports nutrition. So the first thing to do also for a triathlete is to check your diet to see if it's really well balanced and if it's healthy and there is sufficient variation. And then the only thing you need to do is the all the extra energy expenditure you put in the training, you need to compensate that by extra energy intake, mainly in the form of carbohydrates. So to me the definition of a triathlete's diet, it's a normal healthy nutrition. In addition, you need more carbohydrates to refill the energy stores after training. And if you do that, you automatically also get to more proteins in the body. It depends on your goals. If you want to push your performance to the one last half percentage, then you may use supplements to get really to the bottom of your performance potential. But you don't need it. If you're happy with a, a half triathlon in six hours, 10 minutes, Without supplements, that's it. And by using supplements, you could maybe reduce your time to six, six hours, five, six hours, but that's it. But at the same time, I have said that there are some supplements that may help to improve your performance. And then we talk about, in endurance training, we talk about L-carnitine, we talk about nitrate, the red beet juice story. And I think these are the primary ones. For the quarter triathlon Olympic distance, I would add the beta alanine. But for half and long distance, I would not even use this one. So we stick to nitrate in the red beet juice and to l carnitine. And you would need a nutritionist with long-term experience in endurance sports, because only he would know which exact supplements in which dose and in what timing you would need to improve a triathlon performance. So, uh, like the, the supplement story in bodybuilding and power and strength sports, sport is totally different from the endurance sport. So go to a nutritionist with experience in endurance.